A stream of people pouring out of Libya. Refugee officials say more than 140,000 have so far fled the country to Egypt and Tunisia. The growing exodus to escape Colonel Gaddafi's forces as they kill hundreds and block humanitarian aid to western Libya. A spokeswoman for the UN Refugee Agency describing the situation at the Libyan-Tunisian border as reaching crisis point. The situation worsening as world leaders up the pressure on Libya's leader. The United States warning the country could descend into civil war if Colonel Gaddafi refuses to quit. But he remains defiant, apparently unmoved by the pressure from outside, downplaying the rebellion and still insisting the people support him, even love him. The U.S. moving its ships and planes closer to Libya. And David Cameron raising the prospect of more aggressive international action against Colonel Gaddafi. The Prime Minister wants plans drawn up with Britain's allies for a no-fly zone over Libya. We have to plan for every eventuality. It is not acceptable to have a situation where uh, Colonel Gaddafi can be murdering his own people, using aeroplanes and helicopter gunships and the like. And we have to plan now to make sure if that happens we can do something to stop it. But Sir Richard Dalton, former British ambassador to Libya, hopes it won't come to that. I think it's important that people should realise that any form of armed intervention is a last resort and that it should take place in an international legal framework. Mr Cameron also suggesting that anti-regime forces could be armed to help oust the dictator.